Okay, so question 12, um, y equals ln cos x, okay, um, function over function, so dy dx, remember now what ln becomes 1 over, isn't it, so 1 over cos x, but times it then by the derivative in here, which is minus, derivative of cos x is minus sin x, okay, and you get sin x on the top, cos x on the bottom, okay, sine over cos is tan, isn't it, so it'll be minus tan x, minus, because there's minus there, and sine over cos is tan, that's part A. Part B, y equals tan to the minus 1 over x over 3. Okay, now you've got to use the rule, which is in the formula booklet. Okay, so tan to the minus 1 over x becomes 1 over 1 plus x squared, right? It's in there, so use it. So all you do then is to get dy dx, okay, you put um, 1, and remember x now gets replaced with x over 3, and you've got to square the whole thing, right? So you get that. Okay, and then don't forget you've got to times it then by the derivative in here because it's a function of a function. Derivative in here is a third. Okay. Um, now, you've got to do a bit of work here to get all the marks to simplify it. Um, you could take that 3 in and multiply everything by the 3. Okay, so you have 3 there. Okay. 3 times 1 is, is 3. And then you've got to times this by 3 as well. Okay. So 3x squared over 9, yeah? Because I'm going to square that as well. So it's x squared over 9. But I've got to times everything by 3. So this then simplifies to become... Okay, 3 over 9 is a third. Now, you don't get full marks unless this is simplified properly. You, you can't really leave a fraction on the inside a fraction, right? It's not, it's not really simplified as best as it can be. Okay, so when you've got a fraction inside a fraction, what I tend to do is look at what you've got here and I'll, I'll say, right, let's just multiply that bottom by three, okay? And I can do that because what I'll do to counterbalance it, I'll times the top by three as well, okay? So I'm not doing anything wrong, right? What I do to the top, I'm doing to the bottom, okay? It's just finding a better fraction. Um, so times the top by three, one times three, three is three, times the bottom by three, and you get nine there, okay? And if I times this by three, I get 3x squared over 3, won't I? But they will cancel then. So I end up having 3 over 9 plus x squared. Okay, and that's it then. Question answered. Um, so part, uh, next part then, part C, um, we've got a quotient. No, we've got a product in part C, haven't we? Um, so we've got, a, we've got a product here in part C. Um, so u is e to the 6x, v is 3x minus 2 to the power 4. So du dx is 6e to the 6x, and dv dx is 4, 3x minus 2 cubed, and then times the derivative, which is 12, which is 3, so then you get 12. Okay, so then the product rule then, this times this. Add then u dv dx this times this. Okay, what I would do then is I would, cause to simplify, you need to factorize, right? You'd expect this, so don't just leave it like this. Take out um, 6e to the 6x, okay, because 6e to the 6x goes in both, and the bracket cubed. Inside then, big square bracket, you times in this by another one of those brackets to get that first term. And then here then you're timesing it by 2, I think, to get this. And similar to what we saw earlier on, the 2's cancel, so you end up having then 3x here. So times that by the 6, you get 18x, e to the 6x, 3x minus 2, all cubed.